Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick way to remember your clouding factors. So I start out drawing a Y, and this is going to be your main structure that you can always build onto. So once you have the Y, you're going to make four lines on the left, four lines on the bottom, and two lines on the right. And as you can already tell, I'm separating my pathways. So the right side is going to be your extrinsic, left side is going to be your intrinsic, you know your lab values, I just write it over here, your APTT and your INR. Those are the ones you're looking for an increase on. And as far as the clouding factor numbers, I use the word tenants. I just write it down on the side like this. And I know my intrinsic have bigger numbers, so T over here is going to be represented as 12. E is going to be 11. N is going to be 9, and E is going to be 8, T over here is going to be 3, and S over here is going to be 7. Uh, once you have your common pathway, you know that it's going to be 10, 5, 2, and then your last one being your fibrogen. Uh, keep in mind you also have another one though, that's your tissue factor 13. And the only way I'd draw this out is just on the side over here because once you know your prothrombin, which is also known as tissue factor 2, once that gets activated, um, it'll start making your fibrin from your fibrogen, but it'll also activate tissue factor 13. And once that's activated, it can start doing the uh, cross-link covalent bonds to the fibrin. And that's basically your whole clotting factors. Again, this is a very simple drawn out structure, but you can always add so much more. If your class talked about your hemophilias, you can go with A, B, C. And that's basically the best way to correlate your tissue factors with your hemophilias. Um, just going straight up this way being your intrinsic. You can also add deficiencies like your vitamin K. I just put down the Ks over here to let me know which ones are sensitive to vitamin K. Also your von Willebrand factor for eight. So again, you can just add and keep adding to this structure, but this is just a really quick way just to have your tissue factor cascades down. So I hope this video helped you guys. Take care.